Hello YouTube and ETFC, it's me Antronis. Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, it's all gone, but I hope you've all had a wonderful time. Uh, Christmas, wow, Christmas was weird, it came and went like every other Christmas in 24 hours. But no, I didn't really get that festive feeling. No, 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 it was great opening the presents, but that was about it. Um, New Year, I hope you've all had a great New Year, even though it's grim and grisly outside, but that's, that's Britain, isn't it? We're all used to that, I know. Um, I haven't been on YouTube for a while, I haven't posted very much in the past month or two on my channel, but, you know, we're all busy, we're all had things to do, and I have tried to sit down and record, but I just can't seem to get weird out or feel that infused to get out there, but hopefully it's not a bad thing, and it's, obviously it's the first one this year, so, you know, on and upwards, yeah, and I also want to make changes in, in the new year for my channel, uh, new new opener. I want to keep it with the tentacle thing, so I've got people helping me out with that. Um, obviously, the way I review, I want to make it more, a bit more exciting, a bit more not monotone, because I think my attitude at the moment is very like, yeah, and this, and that. I sound like something like Stephen Hawkins or something like that. But I want to try and make it a bit more exciting. No. There's people out there who are reviewing who I love watching. Uh, I'm gonna, I want really, really like to take elements from them and try and make it my own and stuff like that. But nevertheless, on the point of reviewing, this is what this video is about. It is a big thank you. Uh, I've top 500 subs. Oh my god. Um, so it took two years, but you know what? That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. And thank you so much. For 500 subs and counting, actually, I think it last time to 542, which is absolutely brilliant. I wish I could have done it earlier, but you know what it is. You, you get one sub and then you lose 10 later. Um, but that's awesome, man. That That's that's something that's really cheerful. And, uh, you know, I'm watching the sub count go up on a daily basis, even if it's like the odd one. But that's awesome. And so I want to say a big thank you to all you guys who continue to you know, view and leave great comments, feedback. Um, that's boss. I you know it, I've been on YouTube just over two years now. I'm not coming up to two years. Uh, you know, try to do just transform the things only with limited limit your audience anyway. But no, that's great. You know, and you know, I want to continue doing the stuff that you know you guys are liking. So thank you. Uh, and keep keep on coming, please. Keep on comment because it all it all helps. You know, you get a lot of comments. It cheers you up, and in a way, it, it makes you want to do more. Um, you know, rather than you just putting out there for the fun of it. Because as much as I like to say, oh, I will do it as a hobby. I do do it as a hobby. Um, I do do it to try and get my, in a way, you know, build myself up in confidence and stuff like that. And it works. You know, you get that comment, you get them views. You know, it makes us want to come together more as a community, if you will. So that's 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 brilliant. So please continue on with that. Um, and also I want to say a big big, you know, thumbs up. Thank you for Smizno, uh, Dave, and the mighty Grimlock, the Ep Epkinstein Stew, um, for for starting up that uh the U the Facebook YouTube community because I think as much that's an, it's an amazing idea. It could have been done ages ago. I'm sure there's loads of them on Facebook, but again, you there's why people can't get to computers and do editing and get videos out. There's a lot more, you know, people on this Facebook group that have just come together. And whether you're commenting, you're liking, you've, you're keeping in that realm. So, you know what, guys? Fucking tremendous idea and, you know, loving it. Like Python Saturdays, epic. Kibble Tuesdays, whatever you're calling it. Brilliant. Keep it, keep it coming because... You know, it, it feels like you, you don't lose touch with the YouTube side of things. Even though YouTube has gone a bit weird over the past couple of months, you know, with all the uh, ID systems, you know, you're getting done for copyright infringements. And then there's the um, the Google Plus thing, which makes it a bit toffee-turvy. And, you know, I, think, I, I feel the YouTube itself, as, as, as much as there's content going out there, uh, the, there's something that, it's just become very floppy and not not lost its transforms community, but slackened and it's yeah, you know. But the YouTube, the Facebook one, great job, guys, great job. 
But let's see, did you all get one of these for Christmas? Yes, the Covenant Covenant the Covenant of Primus, sorry. Yeah, it's a great book. Um The case is great. <laughs> you know, you all got a big something to stick on our walls, auto body. It's great, you know. The sound's a bit shit. You know, it sounds a bit cheap and nasty, but the book itself is very well, well written. A bit flowery on the words and how it's sentenced. Um, but I'm enjoying it. I'm more than halfway through it now. Uh, I really do want to review it. I, that, that's my goal for 2013. But um, I really like to do a Google Hangout with you guys and get, you know, the, this live streaming thing on the go. Uh, I think that would be great. And I really want to do the book for people who've got the book as well. Um, and just rip it, to, just really dissect the book, uh, chapter by chapter. Um, what do we already know? That's gospel, mythology, across continuity. I know this is a, the aligned uh, continuity. But, you know, it, it brings up a lot of questions that you got through. And, you know, why are you just throwing that name in there? You could have made it a bit more extensive. But, nevertheless, a great, uh, a great book. One of my main features for the Christmas. Um, but, yeah. I'm throwing that out there. I'm going to, hopefully in February sometime, um, do a live stream thing, like a run for a few weeks, really dissect the book, whether it's half hour, an hour live stream. So if any of you guys are up for that, please just drop me a message below. And I'll... Since we're on the back of the 500 subs, and that's what's tapped below, I'm going to give a giveaway. A giveaway, um, you know, this is great. I've been looking around um, my collection and going, well, you know what? Yeah, yeah, that can go, that can go. But, nevertheless, I've got three prizes. Three, and that's four. Three prizes uh, to give away. Um, please, you know, share this and stuff like that. Prizes only available to the people who are subbed, who, you know, comments and who stuff like that on a regular basis. Um, I'm gonna give this a month to run. So, competition time, if you will, or just a giveaway time, it's not a competition, but you will have to answer one question. One question, in order to get it. And I'll show you what the prizes are. Now, I'm not gonna do this first, second, third prize. It will be first name out the hat, and then you can pick whichever one you want, and I will Obviously, the first person will get first choice of who it want, they want, second, what's left, and third. Sadly, you're going to get the third prize. So, first up, drum rolls. It probably won't happen because I can't get the sound effect. X Transbot Glider. Now, this guy is, is awesome. I've got this uh, twice, and I'm giving one away. He is in box. The box is mint. I have had him out, um, and he's an awesome bot. Check out any reviews of him. Um, if you love Power Glide and I do, this is definitely your man. He's a deluxe size, uh, very nicely compact transformation. The only problem with him is on his arm, he's got some kind of manufacturing glue. Doesn't doesn't spoil the all of overlook of him. Um, and I have replaced his Autobot logo in the middle of his chest with a repo label. But he is a top figure. So if you're interested, ooh, question coming up so you can win this guy. Second, second choice of prize is an Armada box, uh, Power Links Red Alert. I've got the original one, and this guy's been sitting under the bed. The box is, you know, really good condition. Okay, bit of crease on the end, but you know, the figure inside's never been opened, never been out of the box. Um, and this is like big end of Voyager, I think, isn't it? But this is going. So anyone who would like that, um. Question answers, please, and that'd be awesome. Prize up. Third prize, one of my main ones. One, this is one of my highlights of two thousand thirteen. It was one of my upgrades, and it was also my last uh, review that I've done. And I think everyone would want this because if you don't, if you have Generation Springer, you're gonna want this little baby. I bought this again for you guys. Um, this is an awesome upgrade kit. You get the Gatlin gun. Um, and his bolt gun, which is really super great for, I think if you look at my review, I feature on the classic Prime, making the G2 Prime maybe, or oh, it works, the, the second gun works 
amazingly with Sandstorm if you want to place that yellow gunny bloody car. But this is again third prize up for grabs, first come, first serve basis choice. Um yeah, so if you guys are interested, answer me this one question. Now we've seen Prime, uh Transformers Prime come and go, Beast Hunters come and go. My question is <coughs> In Transformers Prime Season 2, Episode 21, Alpha and Omega is the title of the episode. Megatron visits and dismembers a tomb of what Prime? Let me say that again. In Transformers Prime Season 2, Episode 21, Alpha Omega, Megatron visits and basically takes off the arm of what Prime. Now, for you guys, go and take a look at Alpha Omega, the, the, the episode. You'll see him rip the arm of a certain Prime off so that he can weld the dark star saber. What Prime does he rip the arm off? Answers below if you want a private message with me, that would be great. Um... And I'm going to draw this prize on the 2nd of February. That's a month from now, so it gives you plenty of time to go and find out the answer. Um, and whether you guys are watching from overseas, you know, I'll be happy to get this th these guys to you. Uh, whichever prize you choose pick. I will private message you to see which one you want to pick. Um, but no, good luck with that. I'll put the question below and at the end of this video. But I hope you're all having a great 2014 so far. Um, I'm just going to try and get back into it, man. I've got loads to review. Loads of repo labels I've had for years, and I still haven't stuck them on. So, reviews are going to come your way thick and fast, hopefully, over the next space of a couple of months. Um, and yeah, man, you know, please, you know, you want these prizes, just what prime did he rip the arm off? Uh, and I'll see you guys soon. Good luck and farewell.